Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee Advanced Level of Mathematics. A level get so hot. Numerical method. So jack fat. And from now on, I will record my videos in English and Cantonese version. And the Cantonese version will be start at this time here. Today we will start chapter 10, numerical methods. And 10.1, locating the root. So what is the root? A root of a function is a variance of x, from which fx is equal to 0. The graph of the y equal to fx will cause the x-axis as points corresponding to roots of the function. So if the function fx is continuous on the intervals from a to b, including a and b, and fa and fb have an opposite side, that means fa is positive, fb will be negative, or vice versa. Then fx has at least one root, x, which satisfy x is greater than a and less than b. And this has an odd numbers of roots, for example, one root, three roots, five roots, and so on. Let's see an example. The diagram showed a sketch of the curve y equal to fx. And fx is a continuous function equal to x squared minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1. Expands how the graph showed that fx has a root between x equal to 2 and x equal to 3. If x equal to 2, fx is equal to negative. And x equal to 3, fx is positive. So it's as opposite side and at least one root in here. This is the root. So we know that from the graph, x is from 2 and 3, there will be a root in here. So that fx has a root between x equal to 1.4 and x equal to 1.5. If we substitute f1.4, we calculate it's a positive 0.104. And f1.5, the value is negative 0.125. So this is a positive here and this is a negative here. So at least one root is between x equal to 1.4 and x equal to 1.5. You have to watch out of how to find the root. If there are multiple roots within the intervals a and b, in this case, there is an odd number of roots. For example, in A, it's a positive size, and FB is a negative size. There will be at least one root between. But in this graph, you can see there's three roots between it. So it's the odd numbers of roots. And in the second case, there are multiple roots within the intervals A, B, but a size change does not occur. In here, you can see FA is negative, and FB is also negative. There's no size change but at least there are two roots in here from the graph. So you can see the size change does not occur. Doesn't mean there's no root. It means zero root, two root, or in even numbers of roots between these intervals. There is a vertical asymptote. This is the vertical asymptote. This means the functions never touch its x values. Between A and B, a size change does occur because FA is positive, and FB is negative. The side chain starts of curves, but there is no root in between. Look at the second example. The graph of function fx equal to 54 x squared minus 225 x squared plus 309 x minus 140 is shown in the diagram, this diagram. A student observes that f1.1 and 1.6 are both negative and state that f x has no root in the intervals 1.1 and 1.6 and expands by reference to the diagram why the student is incorrect because the student find this f1.1 and f1.6 1.1 is in here so it's negative and 1.6 are around here so it's also negative but it has two roots in between 1.1 and 1.6 so the student have this conclusion is wrong and calculate 1.3 and 1.5 and use your answer to explain why there are at least three roots in the interval 1.1 to 1.7. If we calculate 1.1 is negative, 1.3 is positive, 1.5 is negative, and 1.6 is in here, is zero, and 1.7 
is positive. And we know that all this we can calculate is one root here, one root here, and one root here. So there's three roots in between 1.1 and 1.7. Example three, use the same as a sketch the graph of the y equal to log x and y equal to 1 over x. Expands how your diagram show that the function fx equal to log x minus 1 over x has only one root. Because in here you can see the y equal 1 over x is this two curve here. And y equal to log x is this curve here. And these two curves only intersect as one point. So there's only one root if the function fx equal to log x minus 1 over x. Because if fx is equal to 0, this one have to be equal to 0. And log x have to be equal to 1 over x. So we get only one root in here. And so that this root lies in the intervals 1.7 and 1.8. If we substitute f1.7, we got a negative, And 1.8, we got a positive. So the one root is lie between x equal to 1.7 and 1.8. And given that the roots of fx is alpha, so that's alpha equal 1.763 correct to three decimals one of this function have a root. We substitute f1.7625, we got a negative values. And 1.7635, we got a positive value. So it's, it's a root between these two values. And in these two values, we got the uh, three decimals point, we have 1.763. And we prove that alpha is equal to 1.763 if we correct to three decimal point. After this three example, we go to the exercise number four, five, six, seven, and eight. So prepare your pen, papers, and calculator. We are going to do the exercise now. Question number four. Show that each of these functions has at least one root in the region interval from minus 2 to 1. The function is x squared minus x plus 5. So we substitute f of minus 2. We have minus 2 squared minus minus 2 plus 5. And this is equal to minus 1. So this one is the negative value. And if we substitute f minus 1, we got minus 1 to the quid, minus minus 1 plus 5, and we have 5, so it's the positive. We got one negative and one positive, and this function is continuous, so therefore fx has at least a root between minus 2 and minus 1. Part B, if we have a function x squared minus square root x minus 10, and we want to prove in this region 3 and 4 have at least one root, so we substitute f of 3, we got 3 to the square minus square root 3 minus 10, and we have a negative values, so if we substitute f of 4, we got 4. 4 to the square minus square root 4 minus 10. We have 16 minus 2 minus 10. It should be 4. So this one should be positive. And one negative, one positive within this range. And this function is a continued function. Therefore, fx has at least a root within the range of 3 and 4. C part, the function x squared minus 1 over x minus 2, and the x is between minus 0.5 to minus 0.2. We substitute f of minus 0.5. We have minus 0.5 to the crit, minus 1 over minus 0.5, minus 2, and we got a negative value. If we substitute f minus 0.2, we got minus 0.2 to the creep, minus 1 over minus 0.2, minus 2, and we got a positive value. So a positive values and a negative values, this means in this range, 
with this continue function will have at least one root. So therefore, fx has at least a root within the range of minus 0.5 and minus 0.2. And question D, fx equal to e to the x minus log x minus 5 x is between 1.65 and 1.75. We substitute f of 1.65. We got e to the 1.65 minus log 1.65 minus 5. We have a negative value. And we substitute f 1.75 e to the 1.75 minus log 1.75 minus 5. After calculation, we have a positive value. In this range, we have a negative and positive values. This means in this range, with this continue function, we have at least one solution or one root between it. So fx has at least a root between the range of 1.65 and 1.75. Question number five, fx equal to three plus x squared minus x squared. Show that the equation f x equal to zero has a root alpha in the intervals of 1.8 and 1.9. So we substitute f of 1.8. We got three plus 1.8 to the square minus 1.8 to the cube. And we got this 0.408. This one is a positive number. So f of 1.9, we got 3 plus 1.9 to the square minus 1.9 to the cube. And we have negative 0.249. We have a negative value. We have a negative value and a positive value here. So in this interval, there at least is one root. So therefore, we can conclude this fx has a root alpha and this alpha in in the interval of 1.8 and 1.9 part b by considering a change of size of fx in a suitable intervals verify that alpha equal to 1.864 correct to three decimal number so we consider f of 1.8635 and we substitute into the equation 3 plus 1.8635 to the square minus 1.8635 to the cube. And we have 0 0.00138 And if we substitute 1.8645, so we have 3 plus 1.8645 to the square minus 1.8645 to the clip and we have minus 0 0.00531343612 so therefore we can conclude that alpha is equal to 1.864 is a root of fx if we correct the solution to three decimal point and question number six h of x equal to creep root x minus cosine x minus 1, where x is in radian. Show that the equation h of x equal to 0 has a root alpha between 1.4 and 1.5. So we substitute f of 1.4 into this. We got creep root of 1.4 and minus cosine 1.4 minus 1 we got minus 0.05 this is a negative number so we substitute 1.5 we have square root of 1.5 minus cosine 1.5 minus 1 equal to 0 0.0739 and this is a positive value so it's positive and negative values, there's at least one root between it. So therefore, the h of x has a root alpha, which is in the range of 
1.4 and 1.5. And question B, by choosing a suitable interval, show that the alpha equal to 1.441 is correct to 3 decimal point. So we substitute f of 1.4405 into this equation up here. And we have h of 1.4405 equal to equivalent of 1.4405 minus cosine 1.4405 minus 1. So it's equal to minus 0 0.0005554 and something. And h of 1.4415 equivalent of 1.4415 minus cosine 1.4415. Minus one. So this one is equal to zero point zero 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 six nine and something. So this one is negative, negative here, and this one is positive. So we can conclude that the alpha is equal to one point four four one, correct to three decimal pace. Question number seven: F is equal to one o five x squared minus one two eight x squared plus forty nine x minus six. Multiply by cosine 2x, where x is in radians. The diagram shows a scratch of the y equal to fx. So this graph, y equal to fx. And we calculate f of point 2 and f of point 8. So f of point 2, we substitute is 105, point 2 to the grip, minus 128, point 2 to the square, plus 49, point 2 minus 6 multiplied by cosine 2 times point 2 and we have the values of minus 0 0.442109 and something and f of point 8 we substitute into here we got the values of minus 0.14712 Two four and something. So all these values is the negative values with this two point here. So the question B, use your answer in part A to make a conclusion about the numbers of root of fx in the intervals. We got f point two is negative and f point eight is also negative. And this function is continuous, so we can conclude that x between point two and point eight has an even number of roots. It's either zero root, two root, four root, six root, and so on. It's a given number of roots. So we further calculate 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 0 0.7. We know that f of 0 0.2 is negative. f of 0.8 is negative. And we calculate f of point 0.3. We got the values is the positive values. And f of point 0.4 is the negative values. f of point 0.5 is also a negative values. And f of point 0.6 is exactly equal to zero. This is the root, actually. And f of point 0.7 is a positive value. In part D, use your answer of part A and part C to make an improved conclusion about the numbers of roots of fx in the intervals 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. From part A, we know that we have zero number of root, two number of root, four number of root, or six number of root, a given number of root. And from part C, we know that f of 0 0.3 is positive and f of 0 0.4 is negative. So there is a root between this one. So it's a root. And f of 0.4 is equal to negative. f of 0.5 is equal to negative. And we know that's 0.4 and 0 0.5 from the graph that we have no root, zero root. And f of 0.6 is a root because it's equal to zero. So it's a root. So from f of 0.7 and equal to positive and f upon it is equal to negative so there's a root as well 
and between the f of point 2 is equal to negative and f of point 3 is equal to positive. So that's the root as well. So we can calculate the number of root is 1 root, 2, 3, and 4. So we can conclude there are 4 roots between the range of point 2 and point 8. Question number 8. On the same as a sketch the graph of the y equal to log x and y equal to e to the power x minus 4. And this one, I sketch the graph here. You can see this one is the um, y equal to log x. And this one, okay, sorry, and this one is y equal to e to the x minus 4. We sketch the graph of it. And we see that in this graph, these two points is touching each other, causing each other. And part B, write down the numbers of root of the equation log x equal to e to the x minus 4. If we have an equation log x equal to e x minus 4, so we can take all things into the right hand side. We have log x minus e x minus 4. This one is equal to fx, let's say. And if this fx is equal to 0, this is the root of this. And how many points that we can make this going to 0? We can see from the graph is this point and this point. So log x equal to e x minus 4 has two roots, exactly. And part C show that the equation log x equal to e x minus 4 has a root in the intervals 1.4 and 1.5. This one is easy, we substitute fx equal to log x minus e x minus 4 and we substitute f of 1.4, we got log 1.4 minus e to the 1.4 minus 4, we got a positive 0.28127, this one is positive. And f of 1.5, we have log of 1.5 minus e to the 1.5 minus 4 equal to negative 0 0.07. And this one is negative. So therefore, log x equal to e x minus 4 has a root in the intervals of 1.4 and 1.5. Learn with Tom Lee, Advanced Level 的數學, A Level 的數學 今天我們會說Numerical Method,數值法 由現在這一刻開始,我將會錄在我的影片和廣東話版的如果大家想看英文版的話,大家就去這個影片的最初零零的時間那裡就會看到了今天我們最主要會說十點一節Locating Roots 找回那個equation的root,究竟什麼是root呢? A root of a function is a value of x for which fx is equal to 0 如果我們有個function fx 當我們代x某一個value落fx那裡 fx是等於0的話 那個value就是叫做root of the function the graph of y equal to fx will cause the x-axis as points corresponding to the roots of the function. 當我們x是某一個value,令到那個fx是會等於0的話,那條function一定會經過x-axis,因為x-axis是0的嘛。If the function fx is continuous,那個function一定要是continuous,不可以是一些discontinuous的function。on the interval a to b, a to my b, and f a and f b have the opposite size. Opposite size is easy, if f a is zing, f b is full, or the other then f x has at least one root. This is at least one root, it is possible to be one root. It is possible to be one root, two root, one root, three root, five root, one of the standard roots x which satisfy x is由a to b. The diagram shows a sketch of the 
curve y equal to fx， where fx equal to x 嘅三次方减四 x 嘅二次方加三 x 加一，就系呢一条 curve。Explain why the graph show that the fx has a root between x equal to and x equal three。如果 x 等于二嘅话咧 ，fx 咧就会系负数啦 ，x 等于三 ，fx 咧就会系正数。所以一個正一個負，中間一定有個 root， 而我哋見到呢條 curve， 我哋知道一定會經過零呢一點，呢一點咧就係個 function 嘅 root 啦。B show that the f x has a root between x 等於一點四同埋一點五。咁一點四一點五應該喺呢一度，但我哋點知一點四一點五，淨係個 graph 啦，我哋未必睇得咁清楚，所以咧我哋就直接代個 function 落去。代個 x 等於一點四，計出嚟 f(x) 係正數。代個 x 等於一點五，計出嚟個 x 係一個負數，一個負一個正，即係一個係正數啦，一個係負數。所以一點四同一點五之間一定有個 root 喺中間，而且係 one root 嘅啫，一個 root。啊，點解 at least one root 咧？點解唔係一定係一個 root 咧？就唔一定嘅，因為條 curve 可能咧就嚟到呢度咧。就會穿落下低，因為上翻嚟再穿落下低都唔頂嘅，咁所以可能會有一單數嘅 root 一個、三個、五個或者係七個。但係如果 f a 係正數而 f b 係負數，係咪等於中間一定有 root 呢？唔等於嘅，我哋一定要小心一啲特別嘅 case。我哋睇睇，我哋要 watch out 嘅，特別留意嘅。就係、是、你會睇到呢條 curve，f a 啦係正數嚟嘅 ，f b 啦就係負數嚟嘅，係咪中間有一個 root 呢？又唔係喎，中間有三個 root 係咪？一、二、三，所以喺呢個 case 啦 ，there are multiple roots within the interval a and b。In this case, there is an odd number of roots， 係 odd number， 即係一個單數嘅 root， 三個、五個、七個、一個係單數嘅 root。第二個 watch out 嘅就係呢一個 ，f a 係負數。而 f b 亦都係負數，兩個負數之下，中間係咪冇 root 呢？就唔係嘅，中間可能係 zero root 啦，或者係兩個 root 或者係四個 root 嘅。所、so, 以 there are multiple roots within the interval a and b， but a size change d o e s not occur， 因為呢個係 size change 係冇轉到，大家都係負。In this case， there is an even number of roots， 係一個雙數嘅 root， 零個啦，兩個、四個或者係六個等等嘅。跟住第三個情況 ，f a 啦係正數，而 f b 啦係負數，係咪中間一定有 root 呢？唔係嘅，因為你見到中間有一條啊所謂嘅 a s s e m b l e a s s e m b l e 嘅意思就係 y 等於 f x 呢個 function 啦，係永遠掂唔到呢個位嘅，因為永遠都去到呢個位，個 function 可能上到上面啦，跟住喺下低呢就上返嚟，所以呢一個咧係一個 discontinuous 嘅 function， 所以 within 嘅 interval a and b 啦。A side chain does occur, but there is no root. 因為呢個係一個 discontinuous function。我哋睇一睇第二個例子。The graph of the function f x 等於五十四 x 三次方減二二五 x 二次方加三零九 x 減一四零 is shown in the diagram. 呢個 diagram show 咗條 curve 啦。A student observed that f 一點一同埋一點六，一點一啦，同埋一點六。Both negative， 一點一係呢個 negative 啦，一點六都係 negative 啦，兩個都係 negative， 所以呢個 student 又覺得中間應該冇 root， 因為 no side chain。Explain by reference to the diagram why the student is incorrect。我係喺個 diagram 睇到，啊雖然 f 一點一同埋 f 一點六啦都係負數，但係你見到佢經過咗兩個 excesses 嘅，即係話佢有兩個 root 嘅，係咪？一個兩個，我係可以睇到啦。啊，兩個都係負數，但係可以有 even number 個 root， 係有兩個 root， 所以個 student 係咁樣做法係錯嘅。B calculate f 1.3 同埋一點五 ，and use your answer to explain why there are at least three roots in the interval 1.1 至一點七。嗱，我係代 f 1.1 負數 ，f 1.3 正數 ，f 1.5 負數 ，f 1.6 負數 ，f 1.7 正數，所以我哋就可以睇到啦。中間起碼有一、二、三三個嘅 root 喺中間，我哋就 prove 到佢 at least three roots in the interval 啦。睇睇第三條嘅例子 ，use the same axis sketch the graph y 等於 log x，y 等於 log x 就呢一條線
，跟住 y 等於一 over x y 等於一 over x 就係呢個 discontinuous 嘅 function。Explains how your diagram show that the function f x equal to log x 減一 over x has only one root。如果你個 function 係 f x 等於 log x 減一 over x， 佢係等於零嘅話啦，即係 log x。就會係等於一 over x， 咁邊一點係 log x 等於一 over x 啊？淨係得呢點嘅嘢，所以我哋個 graph 度可以睇得到啦，就係、是、呢個 function f x 等於 log x 減一 over x 係得一個 root， 即係一個 solution。So that this root lies in the interval 一點七同埋一點八。咁呢個 b part 啦就好簡單嘅啫，你照代入去，代返去 f 一點七，計到係一個負數。f 一點八計到一個正數，所以我哋就會憑呢個 graph 我哋睇到啦。f 一點七同埋一點八啦，應該就喺呢度啦。所以中間啦係會有一個 root 喺中間嘅，因為一個正一個負。So there is a change of size between one point seven and one point eight. So there is at least one root in the intervals one point seven to one point eight. Given that the root of f x is alpha, show that alpha is 1.763. Alpha 1.763, correct to fit decimal space. 我哋將 1.7625， 即係未到三啦，係代入去呢個 f x 計到係一個負數，細過零。而 1.7635 啦，係大過呢個1763啦，代計到出嚟係。大過零，一個細過零，一個大過零，所以中間啦應該有一個嘅 root 喺中間，而我哋 correct to three decimal space 嘅話啦，就會係一點七六三，因為有機會一到一七六三四，有機會係一點七六二六，咁都係 correct to three decimal point 嘅話啦，就會計到一點七六三。經過呢三個 example 之後，大家開始計嘅 exercise 啦，包括第四、第五、第六、第七同埋第八條。大家準備好嘅話，攞紙筆同埋計數機出嚟，我哋一齊去做功課啦。第四條 ，show that each of these function has at least one root in the given region。f(x) x 嘅三次方減 x 加比五 ，x 係由負二至到負一，我哋再 f 和負二落去啦，我哋就會有負二嘅三次方減負二啦，再加五，我哋得出嘅數字啦，就會係一個負數。跟住 f 負一啦，我哋就會有負一嘅三次方啦，減比負一啦，加比五，我哋就會有一個正數。所以喺呢個範圍之內啦，我哋就會有起碼一個 root。So therefore, f x has at least one root in the intervals x equal to minus two to minus one. B part, f x 等於 x square 減開方根 x 減比十 ，x 由三次到四，我哋代 f of 三落去咯，我哋就會有三個 square 減開方根三減比十，就會等於一個負數。而 f 四嘅話咧，我哋就會有四嘅二次方減比開方根四減比十，我哋就會有一個正數。既然喺呢個範圍裏邊有一個負數一個正數，而呢、這個 function 喺呢個範圍就係一個 continuous function， so therefore f x has at least one root between x equal to my three and four。C part f x 等於 x 嘅三次方減一 over x 減二 ，x 係由負零點五至到零點二，我哋 f 負零點五咯，就會係負零點五嘅三次方減一除俾負零點五。減俾二，我哋得出就係一個負數。而 f 負零點二，我哋就會有負零點二嘅三次方減一除俾負零點二，再減俾二，我哋就會有一個正數。So therefore, f x has at least one root between x is from minus negative point five to negative point two. D part. f x 等於 e x 減 log x 減五 ，x 係由一點六五至到一點七，我哋會 substitute f of 一點六五，我哋就會有 e to 一點六五減 log 一點六五減五
，我哋得出嘅就係一個負數 ，f of 一點七五等於 e 嘅一點七五減 log 一點七五減五，我哋得出一個正數。呢、这個係正數，呢、这個係負數，即係中間起碼有一個 root。So therefore, f x has at least one root in the interval x is from 1.65 to 1.75. 第五條 f x 等於三加 x square 減 x cube。Show that the function f x 等於零 has a root alpha in the intervals， 由一點八至到一點九，所以我哋就會有 f 一點八啦。就係、是、等於三加一點八嘅 square 啦，減俾一點八嘅 cube， 我哋就會等於零點四零八。呢個係一個正數。f 一點九啦，就會等於三加一點九嘅 square 減一點九嘅三次方，就係等於負零點二四九。呢個係一個負數。既然一個負數一個正數，即係呢個範圍就會有一個 root。So therefore, f(x) has a root alpha。呢個 alpha 啦，就係 in the interval of 1.8 一點八同埋一點九嘅。B 呢一條 ，by consider a change of size of f(x) in a suitable intervals, verify that alpha equal to 1.864. Correct to fit the small point. 我哋就會 consider f of 一點八六三五 ，substitute 落個 equation 就會三加俾一點八六三五嘅 square 減俾一點八六三五嘅 cube， 得出嚟就係零點零零一三八 something， 而我有一點八六四五，就會係三加一點八六四五嘅 square 減俾一點八六四五。其實三次方就會等於負零點零零五三一三 something， 所以呢個係正數啦，呢、这個係負數，一個正一個負，中間有個 root， 所以 therefore 啦 ，alpha 係一點八六四 is a root， 咁呢個當然係 correct to three decimal place。第六條 h x 係。開方跟三嘅 x 減 cos x 減一，而 x 咧係 in radian 喺弧度嘅。So that the equation h of x equal to zero has a root alpha between 一點四同埋一點五。我哋照代翻 h of 一點四啦，就會係 cube root 係一點四啦，減 cos 一點四減一。呢、这個將會係一個負數嚟嘅。咁 h of 一點五咧？就會係等於 cube root of 一點五啦，減 cos 一點五減一，呢個係一個正數嚟嘅，一個正一個負。So therefore h of x has a root in the interval 係一個範圍，嗰、那個範圍咧就係 x 係一點四同埋一點五嘅。B part by choosing a suitable interval show that the alpha equal to 一點四四一 is correct to three decimal space。咁我哋揀 alpha 啦，係等於一點四四零五。我係 h of 一點四四零五啦，就會係等於開方三次方一點四四零五，減俾 cos 一點四四零五，再減一，就會等於係負零點零零零五五。心平，所以呢個係一個負數啦。跟住 h 係一點四四一五，加多零點零零一俾佢嘅啫。咁就開方跟三一點四四一五，減 cos 一點四四一五，減一，就係、是、等於零點零零零六九三零。呢、这個係正數。So therefore 啦 ，alpha 係等於一點四四一，因為零五同埋。一五就中間個數就係四四一啦 ，is a root。當然呢個係 correct to three decimal space。第七條 f x 等於一零五個 x 三次方減一二八嘅 x 二次方加比四十九個 x 減六乘比 cos 二 x where x is a in radians。The diagram shows a sketch of the y equal to f x。咁呢個 diagram 啦，就 y equal f x。
咁喺呢個 diagram 咧，驟眼睇就應該有四個 root， 咁所以我哋就會計下 f of point two 啦。咁 f of point two 咧，我哋 substitute point two 落呢個 equation， 我哋就會得出 minus point four four two one， 佢零負零點幾嘅，呢個係一個負數。如果我哋 substitute f of 零點八啦，我哋就會計到係負零點一四一四七 something， 咁呢個亦都係一個負數。咁我哋就會知道呢度有兩個 root， 係咪？有兩個都係負數。如果我代呢個落去，咁 B part 咧就要大家去喺個 A part 嗰度證明咗啦，係睇下由零點二至到零點八究竟有幾多個 root。咁我哋有個 conclusion 啦，就係話因為 f of 零點二啦都係負啦，而 f of 零點八咧都係負啦。所以中間會有個 root 啦 ，the number of root in between 啦，就會係零啦、二啦、四啦、六啦或者八，總之係雙數 ，is a even number of root。C part further calculate f 零點三、零點四、零點五、零點六同埋零點七，咁我哋知道 f 零點二啦係負數啦 ，f 零點八啦係負數啦 ，f 零點三啦。我哋代入去計咧，就會係零點零一二三幾嘅，呢個係正數啦。f 零點四咧，就會係負零點一一一四七，呢個係負數啦。f 零點五咧，就會係負零點二零二六，呢個亦都係負數啦。f 零點六咧，會係零嘅。咁呢個係其實係一個 root 嚟嘅 ，f 零點七啦，就會係一個零點二七一零九，就係一個正數嘅。我係計咗 f 零點三至到零點七個數值啦。D part 我哋用 A part 同埋 C part 去再次做一個 conclusion， 究竟由零點二至到零點八有幾多個 root 啊？嗱，我係知道 f 零點二啦，係一個負數啦。而 f 0 3三啦，係一個正數啦，所以中間咧係有一個 root 嘅。而 f 0 3三啦，係一個正數啦 ，f 0 4四啦，係一個負數啦，所以中間咧亦都有一個 root 嘅。f 0 4四係一個負數啦 ，f 0 5五亦都係一個負數啦，而中間咧應該係 no root 嘅。放個 graph 我係睇到中間係 no root 嘅。而 f 零點六啦，係等於零嘅，所以呢個係一個 root 嘅，因為直情係個 root 本身嚟嘅。而 f 零點七至到零點八啦，零點七就係一個正數啦，零點八啦就係一個負數嚟嘅，所以呢度啊，亦都有一個 root 嘅。所以總共數咧就一二三四四個 root， 中間咧就係 four root in between。between 乜嘢？ between 零點二啦，至到零點八嘅。第八條 ，on the same as a sketch the graph of y equal to log x and y equal to e x minus four。咁我哋喺呢一條線上高啦，我哋首先畫咗 y equal to log x 先啦。咁所以 y equal to log x 咧，應該條線咧就會係咁樣嘅。跟住我哋畫呢一個咧就係 y equal to log x。跟住我哋畫 y 等於 e x。次方減四，咁 y 等於 e x 次方減四啦，應該係咁樣嘅。所以有兩點啦，係互相一樣嘅。即係如果呢個等於呢個嘅話咧，係呢兩點嘅啫。Part B write down the numbers of root of the equation log x 等於 e x minus four。咁如果 log x 等於 e x minus four 啦，所以你見到呢度咧係呢一點啦，同埋呢一點啦，係呢兩點啦，就係 log x 等於 e 從 x minus four 嘅。So therefore, there are two roots of the equation log x 等于 e x minus four。我哋亦都可以写成 f x 系等于 log x 减俾 e x minus four。咁如果呢个等于零嘅话咧，佢就有一个 root 啊，等于零只系呢两点系等于零嘅啫，咁其他就唔系等于零。所以咧，我哋系有两个 root 嘅。跟住 C part。So that the equation log x 等於 e 
x minus four has a root in the interval 一點四同一點五，我哋都講過啦。f(x) 咧，我哋就叻去等於 log x 減 e(x) 減四啦。而 f of 一點四咧，就係、是、log 一點四減 e 一點四減四嘅，就會等於係零點二八一二七幾嘅，呢個係正數。如果 f 一點五咧，就會係等於 log 一點五減 e 一點五減四，就會等於負零點零七六二二幾嘅。呢個係負數，一個正一個負，所以 therefore 啦 ，log x 等於 e x 減四啦 ，has a root in the interval 一點四同埋一點五嘅。Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe and give like to me. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shaft and see the new video. Thank you. Finally, muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutors for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk and the WhatsApp of my telephone number is plus one eight five two. 6592-8609 啊，咁好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因为我都有一啲私人嘅补习喺呢一两方面嘅。多谢大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。